Hello, hello, Guardians. I am Ransom Brider, and I am in the Destiny Cookbook, the official Destiny Cookbook by Victoria Rosenthal. Uh, you see it here, and I'm going to be making a really phenomenal treat today. Uh, this is actually the second treat I've made today. Check out my prior videos to see some of the other treats that I've worked on. Uh, it's cookie time because we're in the season and it's, you know, we need cookies. We're in the season. Uh, now this is Traveler Donut Holes. Difficulty is easy, is easy. Prep time is 30 minutes. Cook time, 8 to 12 minutes per batch. Yields 40 to 50 donut holes. This is a lot of donut holes. Dietary notes, dairy and vegetarian has eggs. 50, 40 to 50, is, is all of this gonna make that many? Let's find out. Ikora never seems to take a break. Even when the dawning is fast approaching, I came up with the recipes for these little donut holes though, that, so that she would have a quick dessert to eat between all the things that keep her busy. Ikora, you've been standing there for 10 years. Uh, take a walk, girl, take a walk. They look like little travelers to me, though they're a bit more whole than the one floating above the tower. No longer in the tower, it's in the space and the witness is in it to win it, the witness. Now here's the ingredients list in case you wanna make this at home. Two cups flour, two teaspoons ground cardamom, one teaspoon ground cinnamon, one half teaspoon allspice, one cup sugar, two teaspoons baking powder, one teaspoon baking soda, one third teaspoon salt, one cup of coconut milk, two eggs, one fourth cup honey, two tablespoons unsalted melted and cooled butter, one tablespoon vanilla extract. Toppings, one half cup powdered sugar and two teaspoons ground cardamom. There's a lot of ingredients here, okay? This is a lot. And many of these guardians chat, I, I don't normally cook with a lot of these ingredients. So this is dessert, you know, snack, uh, treats for me. Preheat oven to 350 behind me and it's at 350. Combine the flour, the cardamom, cinnamon, allspice, and sugar. So I'm gonna stick with this recipe exact. <laughs> if I were to deviate from the recipe, I'll tell you, I'll share it with you. So this is flour, two cups. We want the cardamom, cinnamon, allspice, and sugar. This is cardamom. I, I don't often use cardamom, I like the smell of it though, in it goes. Tap it, get it all out. Get out of there, cardamom. Set it to the side. And then this is the ground cinnamon. Now I love ground cinnamon. It just has that wholesome uh, smell, just mm, you know something good's coming when you smell cinnamon, in it goes. Tap it, get it all out. Get out of there, cinnamon. Now this is allspice. Allspice, I always thought allspice was like the mix of six or seven spices, but no, it's actually just one spice. Allspice is not a mixture of multiple spices, it's one, and it's all together right there. Phenomenal, phenomenal. This is another one, you smell it, it's holidays, it's something good, uh, it's gonna be a treat when you smell allspice, and it goes. Now that allspice was one half teaspoon. Then I'm going to need, right, one cup sugar. Let's just, let's follow it though. Combine the flour, cardamom, cinnamon, allspice, sugar, and baking powder. Here's my sugar. This is one cup sugar, in it goes. That's granulated white sugar. This is my baking powder, two teaspoons baking powder. In it goes. Then we want to do salt and baking soda. This is my baking soda. 
And then this is my salt. Get out of there, salt. We need your goodness. Salt is really like a flavor enhancer. It brings the best out of all of the different ingredients and makes them phenomenal. Now, I'm gonna whisk this all together. I want my ingredients thoroughly incorporated. No one section of cinnamon or allspice. Let's make sure it thoroughly incorporates. Incorporate, incorporate. But these donut holes, uh, they sound really good and all the ingredients smell really good. And I do have a special donut pan that I'm gonna be using to bring us these little traveler shaped donut holes. So before I'm finished with this recipe, we're gonna be munching on mini travelers. Not mini as in M-A-N-Y, but mini as in M-I-N-I, -I. mini. These are gonna be <laughs> These are gonna be mini, mini travelers, little bitty things. Uh, as we would say back home, I hope they turn out to be cutie patooties. All right, I'm stirring this up. It looks like I have this incorporated. I don't see any, any dark spots coming to the top. So there it is. That's my dry ingredients. So I'm gonna set that to the side. Okay, then whisk together the coconut milk, uh, one cup of coconut milk. I'm gonna pour this into my bowl. I hope this bowl is large enough. I hope it's large enough. I think it will be from looking at all of my ingredients. Let's get all that coconut milk out using my spatula. I don't wanna leave any of it behind. Uh, you know, and normally I, I, I would not, I'm not one of the people that would be using coconut milk. You know, I've had fresh coconut split open for me, you know, in tropical locations. It's okay. It's okay. But I'm not somebody that's going to be using it in a recipe until today. Actually, a couple of her recipes have called for coconut milk. So the coconut milk, eggs, honey, butter, vanilla extract. Two eggs, in they go. Vanilla extract. Ah, oh, Guardians, just smells phenomenal. Uh, allspice, vanilla extract, cinnamon, something good is cooking, honey, and butter, so this is the last of it. This is the last of it. Is this too big for this? Oh no, it works perfectly. Get out of there, honey. Uh, you know, a precious commodity, honey. Yeah, I love it. And then the butter. That's melted butter, and then it's just, you know, room temperature, but I did melt it uh, it's, it wouldn't be that, that, you know, runny, that liquid, the liquidity, uh, you know, that's, that's more than just melted at room temperature. That was heated. I heated that. All right. Now get off of there, get off of there. Let's put that there and let's get a whisk. And this is a ball whisk. I need to thoroughly mix this, right? Whisk the wet ingredients into the wine, dry ingredients. But I want to mix this just so that my egg is broken and incorporated. And I kind of stir all this up before it goes into my dry ingredients, which we just mixed all that together. Now, I could have used a power mixer, a stand mixer, and you know, it might have been a good thing, but like I've said earlier, this is, you know, this is going back to the dark ages of my childhood where we didn't have, we didn't have an electric hand mixer. We would beat it by hand. 
and I'm doing the same thing here because I see a few little lumps of that coconut milk, but it will all mix up in the big bowl. Coconut milk, incorporate, incorporate, abracadabra. That always works for me, guardians. The magic words always work. All right, now I wanna mix this into the big bowl, whisk the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. And this recipe, it seems complex because there are a lot of ingredients here. Uh, and she doesn't say a little at a time, she just says mix it in. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, let me get my handy dandy spatula. Uh, this is a cook's best friend. If you don't have a spatula, invest, invest. Uh, you'll thank me later because they're great. I wish when I was young, I would have had a spatula so that when I was uh, trying to get all the goodness out of the treat bowls, the candy bowls, when they were homemade, uh, you know, I would have had that and I could have just scraped it clean. I could have got every bit of that goodness out of there. All right, now whisk the wet ingredients into the dry. And I'm again thinking this would be a good place for a hand mixer, but Victoria, you don't say hand mixer. You know, if you mean hand mixer, you should say hand mixer or stand mixer. You know, they there's industrial big O kitchen appliances that can really mix this stuff in minutes. Uh, what really takes by hand a while, but this is kind of, I'm thinking like a cake batter. It is donuts. So I'm thinking it's more like a cake batter. And as I'm working it in this big mixing bowl, it feels like a cake batter. I mean, it really does. Now I wanna fully incorporate all these ingredients. I don't want any dry spots or lumps of flour and sugar. Uh, and it helped, it helped that I had pre, you know, used the whisk on this. Because when you pre-do all of that, it, it's gonna be less likely that you're gonna get lumps. And I'm just using my ball whisk to go down the sides. I will scrape it in just a moment. Wow, look at that. It's looking smooth and delicious already. It has a beautiful color. The consistency is good. I'm thinking this is gonna be some donuts that we're gonna be in love with. I, I really do, some traveler donuts. Now let me work the sides just to make sure that I get everything incorporated. And I'm using my ball whisk to pull off everything off the spatula. Let's whip it a few more times. Now, if you've ever made bread in the kitchen, you know that this whisking and kneading and beating, uh, it can wear you out. This can wear you out. But luckily, this has come together very nicely. Now, let's see what she says. Use nonstick spray on a donut hole baking sheet. Okay, I'm gonna move this to the side. I'm gonna pull over my donut hole baking sheet, which I have sitting inside of a cookie tray, a cookie pan, a baking sheet. Now, fill each hole three-fourths of the way full with the batter Bake eight to 12 minutes, remove the donut holes from the pan and allow to slightly cool. I do have my rack, my cooling rack. Combine powdered sugar and cardamom in a large sealable bag. Once the donut holes have slightly cooled, place them in the sealable bag and shake until fully coated. It reminds me of when we used to season chicken when I was young, we would season chicken. Now I have a big spoon. Let's dig into this and give it a try. And I almost feel like I might need my ice cream scoop or, you know, a pastry bag would be good here. Three fourths of the way up. And guardians, I think I will get my ice cream scoop. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, I am back. 
I've used this on the last treat that I made. It's an ice cream scoop, but I think it's gonna work actually great on this. Let's give it a try. Uh, easy to make a mess here. And ultimately, since I haven't baked these, you know, I can clean up the tray. I can clean the tray up. And if you have an idea for how to help get these in here quickly, smoothly, efficiently with no mess, let me know. I, I, think, the, I think the pastry bag might really work. All right, I'm gonna continue to work these in. I have several to do. Hang with me, I'll be right back. Guardians, I have filled this tray up. You know, it looks fairly even. We'll judge it when it comes out of the oven. Uh, let me get a napkin and just wipe a little bit of this off because I know it could actually brown and perhaps smoke in the oven when you have just a little bit left on the side like that. So I'm gonna clean it up because I don't want a, I don't want my smoke detector coming on. And I'm gonna pop these in the oven and give it a go. Now you can see these in the overhead camera. They smell good. This batter has a really nice consistency. Let's pop these in the oven eight to 12 minutes. I'll be right back. Guardians, I have pulled these out of the oven. They're still piping hot. I did overfill these, <laughs> these donut holes a bit. As you can see, they have risen a little bit beyond what I think they should have. So maybe instead of three-fourths full, I would go one half. But now they're gonna be beautifully round on the top. We're still gonna get the desired effect. And I have a lot of batter, but I'm, I'm okay with these. You know, I'm okay. It's not an official function where I'd be serving these. I'm just gonna have a few friends over and we're gonna munch on these. I'm gonna let them cool. Then we're gonna coat these in powdered sugar and cardamom. Now the powdered sugar and cardamom is what she recommends, right? But you could actually, uh, you could actually use allspice or cinnamon and sugar. There's a lot of different things you could coat these donuts in. Uh, hang with me. We're going to taste these in just a few minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Guardians, I do have these on the cooling rack. Uh, they are a little bit brown on the top, but they are, or rather the bottom, but they are very soft. They're very soft. And I'm going to let these cool. Then we're going to powder them and I'm going to test one for you. This is exciting. These are going to be tasty. I know it. I'll be right back. All right, Guardians, now these have cooled for just a moment. They're still warm, but this is my plastic baggie filled with powdered sugar and cardamom. And I'm gonna drop one of these in, powder it, and we're gonna try this. I'm gonna try it right now. Now, I did overfill these. Some of these are as cute, they're little cutie patooties. This one was done really correctly. Uh, where I'm gonna show you one that I just slightly overfilled. It's got a ring like Saturn. You know, this is Saturn. This is not the Traveler, but it's gonna taste good all the same. Let's pop this little guy in, coat it in the mixture, and then we're gonna taste it and see what it's all about because ultimately it's gotta taste good. This has to taste good or I'm not gonna like it. You know, we're, we're here for taste. Now, when you powder these donuts, they will stay powdered. Uh, for a couple of hours, but eventually they would absorb uh, this powder and then they wouldn't look this way. They wouldn't be a powdered donut. Uh, they're still going to be delicious though. Let me shake it off a bit. Guardians. Uh, it's really phenomenal looking. Let me just powder a couple of these. Saturn or not, let's powder a couple of them. Uh, get in there, little donut, little mini travelers. Now, I'm glad this goes into a baggie because uh, this powdered sugar, this can get everywhere. So be careful when you're powdering your donuts. Okay, they're looking good. Let me just make way for some of these finished models. Uh, move over unfinished. You need a paint job of white powder. All right, let's get those out of here and let's pull some of these out. 
Oh, they're beauties. They are beauties. Maybe I need to powder them all. Powder them all. Take them all. I think I'm gonna just go ahead and do it. Let's dive in. Let's get these powdered. Because they're just looking too cute to not powder the whole gang. Now I'm gonna pop these in, give them a shake. And you know, the, you could always serve these with like a nice sauce on the side, a dipping sauce. A raspberry jam I think would be good. Or maybe an orange jam or some type of sauce that you really would like to show off your culinary skills at a party. Uh, because I like to dip a donut. I like to dip a donut. These are as cute as can be. I'm glad that we've gone ahead and powdered all of these. Now that is a whole tray of the many travelers and they're cute as can be. All right, let's try one. Let's give it a taste test. Now ignore my hands, that's just powdered sugar. It's goodness all over the place. Uh, and I'll, I'll be covered in powdered sugar for this is over with once I try to put these away. Let's give it a taste test. Mmm, mmm. That allspice, the cardamom, Mmm. The honey. It's absolutely delightful. These ones are mine. Guardians, don't hesitate to make this recipe from the official Destiny cookbook. Come and hang out with me. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, check out some of my other videos where I make recipes from the Destiny cookbook. But stop by my live stream. Let's be friends. I need friends. I'm Ransom Rider, and I hope to see you very soon inside the gaming world of Destiny 2. Bye. Bye. I'm going to have another one, Guardians. They're just that good. Bye. Mmm. Mmm. So good.